This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video and this time playing with mermails yet again because that's what people said they wanted to see when I asked on my uh, patreon feed I've been doing a lot more uh, utilization of that sort of stuff is that for Providence uh, sure that can happen um, I'm pretty sure I stopped something else now outside of that combo video I did I have no idea what any of the Zephyr stuff does <laughs> so I think if I ash blossom this it's pretty damn good um, I mean I've got Raigeki I've got these I need to draw dragoons or Neptibus or more of greed to really reset my hand. Really? An Anunkul high. Okay. Sending the Neb. So you're actually just playing like not really something that I would consider a threat. Do I just kill you this turn? That would be amazing. Um, let's see. I can do these. I can pop I can send these into a um, into the Megalo. I can normal summon the marksman. I can attack. Uh, do my stuff. I don't think I kill him this turn, but I can definitely set up multiple toads if I don't get greedy. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll just do this. I'll Raigeki here, that way I can attack with this. I'm just going to attack with the Marksman, right? So that I get my Neptibus out of deck. And then I'll attack with the Neptibus, just do some quick damage, but I'm going to set up basically a bunch of toads. Um, is going to be the, the name of the game here. So we'll attack with this. I'm not really in a position where I could have game shot at him because of the fact that I just don't have as many waters in hand as I would need. But this is fine. So, Zephra Tellers, I guess, is what this deck is. Um, but anyway, like I was saying beforehand, I've been being a lot more active with uh, with my Patreon nonsense. Uh, because that just uh, that makes things a bit easier for dealing with uh, stuff. So there's uh, a Ghost Ash, a Raigeki, and now that is one card engraved. So I need to remember there's two cards that are not Waters engraved um, for that to be doable. Um, I need... I can get... Uh, I'll just get another Megalo, or I just might want to get Mulan. Oh, I've got another Dragoon Search anyway, uh, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, but I can drop this Megalo, pitching these two, and that'll the Dragoons will get me a, a Search there. Um, and then, yeah, that'd be two. I'd be able to do some stuff. I'd be able to... I can Special Swap. Actually, yes, here's what we do. We Special Swap by discarding, uh, by discarding the Pike, right? And this... Swap is going to send the Ronin to grave. I can use the swap to bounce the Neptibus to hand. Uh, that's just a bunch of extra bullshit. Never mind. We're not doing that. Um, that's not the play we're making. Uh, but I'll activate this. I'll discard these two. So that's seven. So that puts me at the uh, at the proper number for um, for stuff to happen. I'm gonna add Abyss Sphere here, uh, simply because it just is the stronger option. But this lets me add Moulin Glace, which I can use to drop two cards from his hand. So I'm not setting up Toads, um, but I am setting up just, like, taking cards away from my opponent. That's that's all we're worried about. Uh, so taking away Altair and a Stellar Knight Scale, I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with this. I'm just playing the, the slow, methodical, and grindy game, I guess. But it's not really grindy, but it's just, like, the resource game. Um... That's really all there is to it. Okay, so he just top decked an Altair, which is fine, actually. Uh, the worst that he can do is, like, Traver me. And if he does, I'm just going to make totally awesome anyway. Um, and all my stuff is going to come back to my head. I won't get a battle phase because of the Moulin Glace leaving the field. But at the same time, um, like, it'll be fine. Because I'll be able to drop the Moulin Glace again next turn because I've got the graveyard control with, like, the Ronin Toten. Because if he bounces my entire field and then discards a card out of my hand with, like, Traver. Um, then what that's going to allow me to have access to is that it's going to put me to six waters in grave, which I could then normal summon swap frog, send a frog that'll put me at seven, and then I could banish the frog special the Ronin that puts me back at five. So, like, there's that. Now, if he attacks me first, he's not attacking me first, which I find interesting. Now, the thing is, um, I could actually, I'm actually going to chain this abyss sphere and get a card out of my deck that'll go to my hand. That's fantastic. Um, that's how this works. 
Uh, so I'm going to get a Teus out of my deck because that Teus is just going to go to my hand um, once he makes Traver. So uh, we'll go with that. Well, actually, I probably should have just waited for the Traver, but, I mean, he has to make Traver. Look at there. Um, now, I don't get a battle phase my next turn because of the Moving Glace leaving the field. Um, he's discarding Megalo, which is fine. I've got Teus in hand. Um, I think I, like, don't take battle damage for the rest of the turn or something like that. Or it's, like, there's some restriction. It's, um, it's, he can't exceed further for the rest of the turn. That's right. So he's going to use Oracle of Zephyr here. Uh, what did he discard for his, uh... For his uh, thing. He discarded the Vega, so the card in his hand is an unknown. Um, but now he's using Zephrath to put a card in his extra deck. That's fine. That Zephrath is going away. Um, <laughs> let's be completely real. Okay, so he's going to Pendulum this one. Is that... Yeah, he can't see Summon further, but he can Pendulum Summon. What does this card do? Um, target one other Toa Knight and uh, destroy that in a set card I control. That's going to do nothing. Um, okay, so I don't need to worry about dropping Moulin Glaze at all. Uh, but what I do have access into is that I have access into uh, Totally Awesomes, and I can make a Big Eye and take this. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty, tasty Big Eyes. Uh, but so I can activate this, discarding the uh, the uh, the Neptabyss, and then that gives me all that. No, I get a Battle Phase. Oh, it's because when it goes back to your hand, it's not a confirmable card. That's so fucking neat. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to normal summon, I can special summon this, uh, and get back my Dragoons, right? Um, and then I'll be able to get uh, Abyss, uh, like, Hilled from my deck or some bullshit like that. Um, let me see, I need to I need to double check what my resource pool in my deck is, but I've got access to all of these from deck, so yeah, that's fine. Um, so we'll normal summon the Osha, um, and then that'll go with the Teus, which will be perfectly fine. Um, so we'll normal summon this. How many do I have in Grave? I've got, like, what, six? Yeah, I've got six of them in Grave, uh, which is a bit of an issue, but it's workable. That's the thing, is that at least it's workable. Now, what I'm going to be able to do here is I'm going to be able to make, uh, I'm going to be able to make, um, Totally Awesome and, uh, 101. That's the thing that's going to happen here, is that I get to make this 101, and I'm going to use it with these two, so I get my Dragoon Search, and my extra stuff. I'm going to suck up his Traver, and the Dragoon Search is going to activate, and I'm going to get access into... I can get access into the Megalo, and then um, from there I can make Bahama Shark Toad. Uh, I can drop these. I can make another Toad. I can do a few different things. I just wish I... I wish he didn't hit that Megalo out of my hand. That's the one that annoys me the goddamn most, is that he hit the Megalo. <laughs> like, that was the one I wanted him to leave. I, I was okay with him hitting any other card. Uh, but so I'll increase the levels of these by one. I will make a Bahamut Shark. I get to attack his thing. First, I get to special summon this. I'll do it by discarding the Marksman. I'll special summon this Swap Frog. Um, I'll use the Swap Frog's effect to send this one from deck to grave. And then I can activate this Megalo here. And I can discard these. I've got a battle phase this turn. Or it's... It's either that, or it's going to just, like, enter my battle phase and then immediately skip it. Either of which I'm actually fine with, honestly, to tell you the truth. I'm going to Ronin Toad in here, banish a Swap Frog, special summon it. I'm going to use the Megalo to tribute that Ronin Toad, because I just have a free floating Ronin Toad, uh, and that'll give me just more attack value. I'll make Totally Awesome here, and then I can, uh, I can place this on my Megalo, and now let's see if I get a battle phase. I, nope, it goes, went straight to end phase. That is a fucking piece of bullshit. I hate the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro does that. It'll just go straight to your end phase when I could have set this Abyss Sphere. And that actually is probably going to be something super relevant. And I didn't get my Bahamut Shark Summon. I hate Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro <laughs> for this bullshit. I have things I could have activated. Oh well, my opponent is surrendering because he just doesn't have anything that he can answer me with anyway. Um, because this... Can uh, this is going to negate the effect of his Sephrath if he uses it, um, and then fall off. So, um, so like, there's that. Or, is that how that works? Yeah, when a spell effect that was activated on your opponent's side of the field revol resolves, negate it. So, like, he won't be able to use Zephrath to load up his extra deck. He's not playing with a lot of cards. Um, damn it. Fuck Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. For real. Like, I was just experimenting, and, like, I... Well, why does it even give you the battle phase button? If it says you can't conduct your battle... Oh, it says skip the battle phase. 
Okay, but it doesn't say skip your main phase two. All right, <laughs> let's say that. Um, and there's some weird wonky cards where like if the card goes like to your hand, it's not common knowledge. Or if it, like Reborn Tengu, for example. Um, like Reborn Tengu had places like where if it left the field, you didn't get the summon from deck because it wasn't public knowledge that it left the field or something. That might have just been like shuffle back in deck. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but like I'm, uh, this is knowledge that I have from way back in 2011, so it's like really hazy. But anyway, um, I hate that Yu-Gi-Oh Pro does that. It, instead of putting you in main phase two, it just straight up ends your turn. <laughs> because main phase two, I could have activated Bahamut Shark, gotten my second Toad, set my Abyss Sphere, then all's hunky dory, right? You got everything. You've got the Toads that can trigger. You've got the Abyss Sphere that can be used as a, def as a defensive line, depending on what my stuff in graveyard is. Which I have things that I could use in the form of like. I could add back Marksman and in phase snipe a back row. I could do a bunch of different bullshit, but no. Yu-Gi-Oh Pro says, nah fam, you have to skip your battle phase. We're skipping the rest of your turn too. Fuck you and fuck everything you want in life. <laughs> Luckily, it was at a point where in the game where I literally could not care less in terms of cards because I'm just winning on card advantage so fucking hard to where even if my opponent clears my board in some method, there's no way that he's going to be able to out every single threat without doing something like Traver, which resets my Megalo and shit in hand, gives me a card off Totally Awesome back anyway, and all this other bullshit. So anyway, I guess I can just kind of end that rant and go on with that in terms of how it needs to be done. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Oh, I actually just started ranting on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro there for a minute, and I actually just kind of lost track of the fact that I was filming and needed to keep like some form of time constraint. But anyway, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly and help me make some future content possible, as well as get insider access into some workings of the channel, as well as potential Discord access with me and a bunch of other people where you can chat with me and all those people on a daily basis whenever I have access to a computer or phone and I'm not working and I'm not busy, then definitely check out the Patreon page if you are interested. The $5 reward tiers will get you access into the Discord server, and even something as little as a dollar just to enter the Patreon supporter tier opens up the Patreon feed for you where every couple of days I'm going to be posting polls and questions and things like that asking you what you want to see on the channel and what you say for those results, for those polls, for like what orders you want videos to go up in, and all that sort of nonsense is going to dictate how things are uploaded in order on the channel so if you want insider access and insider capability to like help how the channel runs and have some say in how the channel is having content put up then definitely go check out the patreon page if that's what you're interested in it also just gives a massive amount of support to me to make me able to keep doing this one to the future if that's what you want to see but other than that if you like this video and want to see more content like this then give this video a thumbs up smash that like button all that sort of nonsense it shows me the support of the content that you're liking to see other than that if you're new here and you haven't been subscribed I definitely would encourage you to subscribe if you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content. I'd love to welcome you into this dysfunctional little family that we've got here with me at the helm because I didn't think this was possible years ago, but now it is, and Jesus Christ, am I ever surprised and ever grateful. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing if you want to see more. I would definitely love to have you on board, as I've already said. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. As I've already said, thanks for your time as usual, and take care. I will see you in the next video.